Today, humans are the only surviving species of the genus Homo, but our current dominance is a relatively recent phenomenon. For millions of years, Earth was home to a vast array of human-like creatures, a group we call hominins. Many names of these are familiar, your Neanderthals, your Homo erectus, Homo habilis, and others. These are the household names, more like the celebrities of our evolutionary past. But beyond these famous figures, there's a supporting cast of lesser-known, yet equally important hominins who have had their own impact on our origin story. These include Homo floresiensis, or the Hobbit of Flores Island, Homo naledi, and Homo heidelbergensis. Yet among these ancient humans, there exists one species that remains shadowy. This is Homo antecessor, or the pioneer man. Its role in our ancestry has been debated, and its identity sometimes questioned. But now, thanks to a new study harnessing the power of ancient proteins, we are beginning to know the secrets of Homo antecessor and its place in the tree of human evolution. For decades, the primary tools for evolutionary reconstruction have been fossilized bones. Their shapes, sizes, and locations provide clues to our ancestral relationships. However, fossils are often incomplete and open to interpretation by various researchers, and this often leads to uncertainties. Then came DNA, which is the revolutionary gold standard for tracing evolutionary lineages. The ability to extract and analyze ancient DNA from fossils transformed our understanding of recent human evolution. It has revealed details about ancient hominins, from interbreeding between Neanderthals and modern humans, to the existence of the Denisovans in Siberia. But DNA, as remarkable as it is, has a fatal flaw. It is fragile and degrades over time. After approximately half a million years, it typically becomes too fragmented and damaged to yield meaningful genetic information. This makes the period before 500,000 years ago a crucial epoch when many key hominin species emerged and diversified, largely beyond the reach of DNA analysis. This is where the field of ancient protein analysis, or proteomics, comes in. Proteins are the workhorses of our cells and are made of chains of amino acids. Crucially, they are far more resilient than DNA. While DNA degrades, proteins can persist as they can preserve themselves within the mineral matrix of fossilized bones and teeth for far longer periods, millions of years in fact. While proteins don't carry the same wealth of genetic information as DNA, they still offer valuable evolutionary details. The sequences of amino acids and proteins like DNA sequences can vary between species, reflecting their evolutionary relationships. By comparing protein sequences from ancient fossils with those of modern humans and other primates, scientists can estimate how closely related these species were and where they might fit on the family tree. And this brings us back to Homo antecessor, the pioneer man. Homo antecessor was first discovered in the hills of the Sierra de Atapuerca, a region in northern Spain. In 1994, during excavations at Grandolina's TD6 layer, a stratum dated to approximately 800,000 years ago, archaeologists unearthed a trove of fossilized remains, fragments of skulls, jaws, teeth, and bones, belonging to at least six individuals, including children and adolescents. These were no ordinary finds. The fossils displayed some traits that defied easy classification. The teeth were large and robust, with thick enamel reminiscent of more primitive Homo species like Homo erectus, or even earlier hominins such as Homo rudolfensis. Yet the facial bones told a different story. A double-arched brow ridge, a projecting midface, and a relatively flat profile that bore an uncanny resemblance to modern Homo sapiens. It was named Homo antecessor, Latin for pioneer or predecessor. The discovery sparked immediate debate. Some researchers propose that Homo antecessor could be the long-sought, last common ancestor of Neanderthals, Denisovans, and modern humans, a link in the line that gave rise to these later lineages. Others, however, were skeptical. Adding to the enigma were the physical cues. Homo antecessor individuals stood between 1.6 and 1.8 meters tall, about 5.3 to 5.11. Stone tools found alongside the fossils, simple flakes and choppers made from local flint, revealed a basic but effective technology. For decades, the debate over Homo antecessor's identity raged on, hampered by the fragmented nature of the fossils and the absence of DNA evidence. The site's antiquity, 800,000 years, 
placed it far beyond the reach of traditional genetic analysis. To tackle this mystery, a team of researchers at the University of Copenhagen turned to ancient protein analysis. They extracted a tiny sliver of enamel from an 800,000-year-old Homo antecessor molar, unearthed at Grandolina. Tooth enamel is particularly resilient and protein-rich, making it an ideal source for this type of analysis. The team analyzed the proteins preserved within this enamel fragment. They identified peptide sequences from seven different proteins, essentially capturing the entire protein repertoire present in the enamel. Intriguingly, among these proteins, they even identified a peptide specific to the Y chromosome, definitively revealing that the Homo antecessor individual was male. The next step was to compare these protein sequences with their corresponding sequences in modern humans, Neanderthals, Denisovans, and living apes like chimpanzees and gorillas. This analysis allowed the researchers to assess the evolutionary relationships of Homo antecessor. The results were illuminating. They revealed that Homo antecessor was not a direct ancestor of modern humans, Neanderthals, and Denisovans, but rather a close relative of their shared ancestor. Instead of being part of the main evolutionary line that led to these later species, it belonged to a sister group, a lineage that developed alongside them from a common ancestor. It was like a close cousin, a part of a different branch that developed at the same time as the branch that would eventually lead to these groups. This finding provides significant support for the idea that Homo antecessor occupies a key position in our family tree. This study marks a turning point in the field of human evolution. Not only does it help resolve the mystery surrounding Homo antecessor, but it also demonstrates the power of protein analysis in uncovering ancient evolutionary relationships. With this technique, scientists can now study fossils that are far too old for DNA analysis, expanding our ability to trace human ancestry deeper into prehistory. Future applications of paleoproteomics could help answer even bigger questions. What other unknown hominin species existed alongside our ancestors? How did early human populations migrate and interbreed? And could there be more undiscovered links in our evolutionary chain waiting to be revealed? The ability to analyze proteins from fossils like Homo antecessor, which are far older than the DNA preservation limit, is truly revolutionary. It expands the toolkit of paleoanthropologists and promises to reshape our understanding of the human family tree. And as technology advances and research continues, we may one day be able to fully map out the journey that led to the rise of Homo sapiens. Until then, the search continues. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. See you next time.